Hello my dear learners, I welcome you all to my channel and uh, today we are going to learn determiners. Okay, and as you all know, grammar is the base of all the languages. Therefore, without grammar, we won't be able to do correct English. Okay, at initial stage, we avoid grammar, but later on, we find difficulty in correcting our mistakes. Therefore, it's right time to correct it and uh, learn each and everything A to Z of grammar so that in later life, there won't be any issues regarding our grammatical structure. Okay, so let's begin with today's class. So children, today's topic is determiners. Okay, so let's understand what are determiners and how we can use it in the sentence. Okay, let's move to another slide. Determiners are words which we use before noun. So here determiners are those words which we use before noun. It means everybody knows what are nouns, isn't it? There are different variety of nouns, proper noun, possessive noun. Okay, so the word which we use before noun, those are determiners. Alright, let me show you two lines to give example of determiners. See, the book is really interesting that this is first line and he is the man responsible for the mishap. Okay, in these two lines, the is determiner because, because it is describing which book. The book will specify it's not any other book but one particular book. Okay, and see in another sentence, he is the man responsible for the mishap. Here also, the is coming just before noun. Noun is man. Okay. So, it is determiner. Okay. And not he. Because he is not a determiner here. It is because it's not coming just before noun. Okay. After he, there is is. Is is verb. Right. So, this cannot be considered as determiner but the is. Okay, I hope it is clear. Let's move to further definition. They tell us something about the noun, which one, how many, how much, etc. Okay, noun will tell us which one, which book. Okay, if it is the, then it will be specified this book. How many? Okay, whether it is so much, few, or in a huge scale etc okay they include articles possessives demonstratives indefinite adjectives etc so here what are articles let me show you a and the in english grammar we have three articles a and and the in possessives we have my like my house our home your school his pen her dress, their restaurant, its pet, etc. Okay, let's see in demonstrative, what do we have? Demonstratives, this, that, these, those, which demonstrates, which shows. Okay, this is my book, that is your book, these are mine, those are yours. So, all these are demonstrative determiners, okay? And how to use it in the sentence, we will learn. We include indefinite adjectives like some, any, many, much, few, little, less, etc. Okay? And not color or any quality. Okay? It talks about quantity in larger scale. Okay? Others are one, two, one, first, third, each, every, all, either, neither, etc. So, if you have these words before noun, then it can be considered as determiners. Okay, you have to see the place of determiners. It should be right before noun. Okay, not anywhere in the sentence. Okay, but right before noun. As I have already given you example, he is not determiner because right after he we find verb and See the third word, the man. Man is noun, okay? And right before noun, we find the. 
and the is determiner right let's see how to use articles as determiners okay see there are two types of articles one is indefinite article and one is definite indefinite are a and an okay and definite is the it tells us exactly who is the person okay or the item all right whereas in indefinite article it could be anything it could be anyone all right see definite indefinite articles a n and we can use a n and before singular countable noun a n and can be used for before singular countable nouns okay singular means one and countable means which can be counted all right and then noun noun you know name of a thing place animal etc all right so let's see the example then it will be clear to you all see here a book indefinite article a book it could be any book all right a city an egg an umbrella okay so in this way we can use it it does not show whose is that okay exactly therefore these are indefinite articles we use a before words that begin with a consonant sound and an before words that begin with a vowel sound a e i o u this is already taught in junior section all right when we write a mango and an apple isn't it so how it happens when the sound is of vowel a e i o u then we use an and when the initial sound is consonant then we use o the initial sound determines whether we are to use a or an see it's not about word whether the word is vowel or consonant that is not important what we have to do we have to go by the sound if the first sound if the initial sound is of vowel then we use an if initial sound is of consonant then we use o okay i hope it's clear let's move to another slide let me show you example words beginning with consonant sounds a hat a book a pen okay now words beginning with vowel sounds an egg an animal an ink pot okay because the initial sound is h okay when we see the abcd chart okay a to z only five words are vowel a e i o u rest of the words will have consonant sound so h is consonant b is consonant p is consonant therefore we use a before these words okay next is vowel sounds e is vowel a e animals a is vowel sound and i as well therefore we have used an i hope this is a very easy one so it's clear now let's come to a little bit confusing thing it's not much confusing but people think it is let me explain words beginning with a silent letter h now see in r h is silent we pronounce it from o u r r okay then an honest h is silent here as well honest so we use in this case we get a vowel sound that is a okay and o therefore we use an okay let's move to third one words beginning with consonant letters with but with vowel sounds now see an m a next an s p then an m p why is it so m it might be a consonant word consonant letter but its pronunciation is m m okay s then m again okay so initial sound is a therefore we use an 
Okay, let's move to the last one. Words beginning with vowel letters but with consonant sounds. See here. O is vowel. U is also vowel. Then E as well. Even then, we have to use a before it. A determiner. Okay. Why is it so? Let me explain. See, when we are pronouncing one, okay, then sound of W is uttered. A one man show. Okay, then a university. From Y, the word is starting university. Then European. All right. I hope I'm able to make it clear to you. Therefore, we consider it consonant word. Alright. Therefore, we use a instead of an. I hope this is clear. If not, just let me know in the comment section. Alright. Okay, let's move to next slide. See, there is something which we have to keep in mind while using a and an. Okay, we do not use a or an before uncountable nouns. Uncountable nouns are those nouns which we cannot count. Milk is a noun but it cannot be counted. Okay, how many milk is there in the glass? One, two, we cannot count, isn't it? But when milk is poured into glass, it becomes one glass. At that time, we can say one glass of milk. Okay, but we cannot say give me one milk isn't it in the same way we cannot say give me one water we can say give me a jug of water then the thing will be different music we cannot say i love a music okay in the same way we can we don't we don't say a beauty okay then a honesty t as well unless and until t is in some container okay till then we never use any Article before T. When it is poured into a cup, then only we use a cup of tea. Okay. Let me read out further. But we can use a or an before an uncountable noun in a particular sense, often with different meaning. Now see, as I have told you here, when milk is poured into a glass, then we can say, give me a glass of milk okay but not when it was loose in the same way see here i want tea here we have not used any article okay but in the second we have used see the condition give me a tea okay the speaker knows that he or she will give tea to him in a cup or in a glass okay they are not going to give it loose T cannot be given in hand, isn't it? We consider use of A. Okay. A cup of tea. Here. See here. Because it is understood. Alright. Otherwise, liquid things are not given in hand. Therefore, we don't use A or N. I hope this point is clear. Let's see further example. When we use A and N before an adjective, it is determined by its initial sound. Okay, when we are using ad adjectives which describes the noun, okay. Say for example, this is a green bag. Green is adjective, okay. She is a short girl. Short is adjective, okay. So, let's see the example. He is an honest man. So, when we are describing somebody with the adjective okay then before that the initial sound should be considered and here we use an an honest man okay this we have already done in last page a mobile phone is a useful gadget a useful your sound is being produced and here also y sound therefore an is used here and o in useful okay i hope it is clear to you useful when we are saying useful, Y sound is being produced. Therefore, a useful thing. Alright. But when we are saying honest, okay, 
when we are saying honest a sound is being produced therefore it is an okay because a is vowel okay let's move ahead definite article the now where do we use the this is very important okay please be attentive children the main purpose of using the is to specify a person thing or place okay here we locate that particular person thing or place exactly okay it can be used before countable and uncountable nouns so here we are free to use it with both the nouns let's see the example i bought a book the book is really interesting okay at first it's not specific which book he brought okay now he is telling about this particular book which he has brought therefore it is the used out here next is he is the man responsible for the mishap he is the man responsible for the mishap okay so here we have particularly said who is the man therefore we use the okay let's see for the use of the we use the in the following cases number 1 number a with a noun when it is repeated okay just like here i met a lawyer the lawyer gave me a good advice the same example we find here as well okay i met a lawyer the lawyer gave me a good advice you cannot say i met a lawyer a lawyer gave me a good advice that will be wrong okay we have already mentioned who the person is so we are going to when we are uh, going to say something uh, continue when we are going to say something related to the first statement at that time we use the instead of a okay but these two lines should be together okay we should have spoken something in the front and then only we can use the in the second sentence i hope it's clear let's move ahead number b with a singular noun referring to a particular group or class singular noun okay which defines one referring to particular group or class so here let's see the example then it will be clear to us the lion is a beast of prey the lion okay we are specifying and it is singular it is singular noun okay which is representing a group or class the lion is a beast of prey the entire lion group is being referred here so here we use the he joined the army last month army is a group of therefore we use the army okay it also tells us amalgam of people next number c before a noun made definite by a phrase or clause before a noun made definite by a phrase or clause see the lady in pink dress is his sister the lady in pink is his sister okay both are determiners the lady and his sister okay so about this we will talk later on right now please focus on the first one the lady in pink dress is his sister because we are dealing with the only right now so this possessive determiner we will do it later on the man who came late was not allowed to enter the man who came late okay the man and uh, about him we are talking out here who came late was not allowed to enter so in this case we use the okay made definite by the phrase because of this phrase phrase is a group of words isn't it because of this phrase the first man is defined okay if the second person was not there then there would not have been possibility to use the here but because of the second line it is definite who's which lady which man 
therefore the is used now before the names of rivers oceans hills mountains important religious books some newspapers and magazines so the is used before these things as well okay the ganga the himalaya the atlantic the bible the quran the gita the hindu the tribute the illustrated weekly of india etc okay this is easy one so we will move to next slide number e in order to specify a person place or thing we use the let's see example some of the boys some of the boys were very weak okay some of the boys were very weak so here the is determiner the film will be a box office hit the film there is particular film which is going to be box office hit so in this case also we use the next before a noun becoming particular by reason of its position locality etc let's see the example father is in the lawn the lawn which is there in the house okay here we use the before noun becoming particular by reason of its position now lawn because of the position lawn cannot be anywhere outside isn't it so it will be in the house only therefore the is used because of its position and locality please pass the salt please pass the salt now where is salt it's not in the ocean at at that time isn't it when you are sitting for the dinner it is there on the table therefore we use the because everybody knows where the salt has been kept all right next before adjectives to refer to a group or class before adjectives okay the uh, adjective means describing words to refer to a group or class let's see the example the rich the needy okay adjective rich is adjective and here needy as well okay so in this case we can use the to tell more about it in the sentence okay the rich signifies rich people needy people in need so in this case we use the okay let's move ahead the is used before superlative when we are comparing the quality of the person at that time also we use superlatives she is the most important girl she is the most intelligent girl in the class here the most okay we cannot just write she is most intelligent girl in the class we have to write the in order to make it grammatically correct because we are comparing okay she is the most intelligent girl in the class we are comparing between all the students of the class and then this particular girl therefore the is must okay next he is the bravest of all soldiers he is the bravest of all soldiers the bravest and this comparison is made between all the rest of the soldiers okay i hope this is clear so we will never write words without the when we are compare, comparing she is the prettiest girl in the class this is the most expensive thing in the world okay in this way we have to write next is we use the before a noun qualified by an adjective or an adjective clause now see adjective is descriptive word isn't it so here shakespeare is being described as immortal so here we use the the immortal shakespeare lived here usually prop in proper noun we never use isn't it in proper noun like if i say my name roshni okay in roshni who will say the this will be totally incorrect no one should say no one should write the before person's name all right but when we are qualifying it 
ओके वेन वी आर टेलिंग मोर अबाउट द पर्सन एट दैट टाइम वी कैन यूज द द इमोटल शेक्सपियर लिव्ड हियर ओके हियर वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट शेक्सपियर हु इज इमोटल ओके हु लिव्ड देर सो द इज यूज द मिस्टर वर्मा यू ऑल नो केम टू मीट मी द मिस्टर वर्मा मिस्टर वर्मा ओके हियर इट इज हिज डिस्क्रिप्शन इज गिवन ओके मिस्टर वर्मा यू ऑल नो केम टू मीट मी ओके सो इन दिस वे ऑल्सो वे यूज द इन द सेंटेंसेज स्पेशली बिफोर प्रॉपर नाउन नेक्स्ट नंबर जे इन सर्टन एक्सप्रेशंस लाइक बाय द डजन बाय द बाय द लिटर बाय द डजन बाय द लिटर both the brothers the first chapter the second chapter okay now here some restrictions are also given we use a n and the before a countable noun no article is used while referring to something in a general sense okay when we are specifying it then it's fine but when we are talking generally then no article is used all right let's make it clear through an example iron is the iron is a useful metal the iron you bought is rusty now see in the first expression there is no the i did not write the iron is a useful metal okay iron because it's general thing okay iron which is there in the market which is there in our home it is a useful metal but the iron which is there with you that is rusty the iron you bought is rusty okay so here you have specified this iron okay the iron which you have bought therefore we have used the otherwise in the first sentence there is no the okay so in this way we have to use it next is death is inevitable everybody is going to have everybody has to taste death okay but see in this sentence this is different the death of mr verma was shocking the death of mr verma specific person the death of somebody was shocking so here we used the strangers should be avoided okay strangers should be avoided there is no the before strangers because it could be anyone now see he was a stranger in the town the stranger was not allowed in okay he was a stranger in the town see the stranger was not allowed in all right we have all, we can see the is not used here in the third line it is it is because we have specified that that particular person is not allowed in the place okay next we don't use the before places of assembly when they are visited for their usual purpose now see this will be clear with this example we go to school at 10 we go to school at 10 now in the school why do we go to study isn't it if i say i am going to study to apply for a job then i will use the okay that i will i will tell you in this example okay let me read out another example they went to market to buy fruit market in the market people go for shopping so if they are going for shopping only then the is not required no the school no the market okay so in this way we have to use but if we are going for some other purpose say for example we are going to school for submitting application and we are going to market to meet with someone okay to meet with someone at that time we use the let's see the example we went to the school to meet the principal okay the school see here there was no the right i hope it's clear see next one we sorry they went to the market to make survey they did not go to the market to shop something they went for survey therefore 
द इज यूज ओके ओके देर इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग no article is used with proper noun i told you person's name okay any animal's name if you have kept then we don't use the roshni the ashmita the reet etc okay but if it is geographical places like alps ganga at that time we can use the the alps the gulf the ganga okay because these are geographical places these are proper nouns but these are geographical places therefore we use the before these words plural names the sharmas the netherlands the united states the united kingdom or newspapers we use the the tribute the times of india okay till now we have completed article a and and the now we will work on possessives possessive determiners and how these are used possessives indicate possession or ownership like it's mine okay my house my school my family etc so these all are the words which shows possessions are determiners i know my brother well my brother this is our house our you must fulfill your promise you want sorry he wants his wage immediately his this is her sister they do not like their teacher okay so all these are possessive determiners now let's move to demonstratives next is demonstratives and demonstratives words are this that these those point to near or distant person place or objects okay if we are saying this is yours then the book is near these books are yours this is also shows books which are close okay one is singular and one is plural this and these this is singular and these is plural okay and distant objects which are far from you we say that that building should be demolished those men are not dependable that and those this and these these are demonstrative determiners here i have made a chart so that it will be clear to you all to dis, uh, to explain indefinite adjectives or quantifiers remember determiners is related with quantifiers not quality okay quality is not described by determiners okay only the quantity indefinite adjectives indefinite adjectives or quantifiers are used before countable or uncountable nouns countable nouns which can be counted and uncountable nouns which cannot be counted like a group of people okay assembly of any any kind any organization etc so let's see the chart so that it will be clear to you all determiners are these okay following now whether it is countable or uncountable i'll show you then with example we will understand this determiners each is determiner every any and one and remember all these are adjectives okay adjectives till now we dealt with article a and the possessives okay his her mine etc then de demonstrative this that those these etc okay so each every any one all these are also determiners from indefinite adjectives some any all a lot most more no none of the many several few one of the both a couple of 
much less little. Okay, so all these are determiners. Now let's see which noun they follow. These are countable nouns. Countable singular. Each, every, any, one. Okay, it is denoting one singular thing. Then countable plural and uncountable some it is more than one but how much we don't know all right so these are uncountable countable plural and uncountable many several few etc these words are countable plural this much and last three are uncountable okay now let's see the example each boy was treated well Countable. We can count boys, two boys. Any person can do it. Okay, any person. Out of many, any person can do it. One boy was missing. One boy, we can count, right? Next, countable, plural. <clears throat> These are some boys in the room. These are some boys in the room. Some boys we can count. Okay, next, uncountable. There is some milk in the jug some milk we cannot count we can measure it right a lot of indians were there a lot of indians were there this is countable plural then a lot of water was this is uncountable okay next many singers were praised this is countable few girls were present this is also countable now then there is much silence in the room. Silence we cannot count. Therefore, it is uncountable. A little sugar will do. Little sugar. Sugar we cannot count. Okay. If it is there in the jar, then we can count. But not if it is loose. So, it is uncountable now. I hope this chart is clear to you all. Let's move to next slide. This note let us read out. Note the use of the following determiners carefully. Now, say some and any. Some is used in affirmative sentences and in questions with yes as expected answer. So, affirmative, <coughs> affirmative sentences means positive sentences. Okay, let's see the example. He has some doubts about your scheme. Okay, he has some doubts about your scheme. So, in this way, we can use some in the sentence. You are thirsty. Would you like some cold water? Would you like some cold water? Okay. Any is used in negative sentences and questions. Any. Let's see the example. I don't have any novel to read. I don't have any novel to read. This is negative sentence okay some is used in positive one okay here you can see positive sentences then here it is negative do you have any spare room do you have any spare room okay so here this is how it is used. now let's see use of much and many much indicates a large amount it is used with only uncountable nouns. Okay, uncountable nouns means which we cannot count with numbers. Example, how much money do you have? How much? We don't know. She showed much interest in Rakesh. Now, how much? We don't know. We cannot count in numbers. India has made much progress in IT. Now, how much progress? That also we don't know. So, in this case, we we can say the amount is large. Okay. In much, we can say the amount is large. Whereas, in many, let's see what happens. Many indicates a large. It is used only with countable nouns. Okay. Here, it was with uncountable nouns. Much with uncountable nouns. Many with countable nouns. Now, let's see the example. How many boys were there? How many boys? Boys we can count, isn't it? This is how we can use. Many people do not know how to sleep properly. 
many people people can also be counted i know many americans i know many americans americans these are people so we can count in hand or through numbers okay so i hope it's clear much shows large amount and many large number okay amount and number next number 3 a lot of and lots of okay let's see where we can use these words we can use a lot of or lots of okay lot of slash lots of in place of much or many in an informal way not informal but informal way let's see example you may have a lot of time to do it lots of people are still superstitious we had to face lots of trouble there a lot of books are available on this subject so the meaning of both is same a lot of and lots of but these are avoided in formal sentences okay these are used in informal sentences more next is plenty of plenty of indicates a fairly good amount or number okay it shows large amount there is plenty of milk in the fridge uncountable noun but the amount is large plenty of okay as much as you require we bought plenty of books for them countable books we can count okay so they bought a large amount of books a large number of books next let's see the use of a little and little a little indicates some amount and little very small amount of something both are used before uncountable nouns let's see the example give me a little water please even little help will encourage the maid so you can see a little and little is used with uncountable nouns but little means very less okay very small amount whereas compared to a little little is a small okay and a little is little bit more okay next is a few it's a few okay i have missed out a a few indicates some and few indicates and few indicates a large small number a very small number okay just like here a little was greater or more than little okay so in the same way a few is higher or more than few all right okay both are used both are used before countable nouns let's see the example only a few persons know me here only a few persons know me here persons we can count few chairs were empty few chairs chairs countable noun so in this way you we use these words let's see the note here quite a few can indicate a fairly large number okay then quite a few persons know me here it indicates good number next is no no meaning no amount or number is used before countable and uncountable nouns this is very easy when we say no biscuits when we say no information then we mean there is no number there is no amount okay let's see the example there is no biscuits i have no information about today's news okay so in this way we can use no let's move to number 8 a little bit of quite a bit of these are informal phrases these are informal phrases and are used to qualify uncountable nouns 
okay so here these are not used in formal phrases or formal sentences a bit of and quite a bit of okay these are used with uncountable nouns let's see the example the jar must have a little bit of water the jar must have a little bit of water to some level it should be there was quite a bit of sugar okay sugar is uncountable therefore we have used a bit of okay a little bit in another sense so i hope this is clear number 9 either or neither it's pronounced in another way also either neither okay i'll say either and neither refer to two persons or things and mean that both of the two persons or things are not involved okay they are involved or not involved if it is either then it is involved and if it is neither then it is not involved okay so let's see the example we can park on either side of the road we can park either side in both the sides okay we can park we will agree in neither case in both the cases there is denial from the speaker so in this way we can use either or neither okay next is number 10 each every each and every point to all the individuals in a group of persons of things and are used with singular countable nouns each and every okay these are used with persons a group of persons or things and these are singular countable nouns each minister got a big expensive car each minister minister is noun and this is countable we can because we can count minister okay got a expensive big expensive car so each is determiner here they came here every day okay they came here every day every day the each day the person came now let's see the note each is used to refer to individual members of a group while every is used to talk about all of them now see each means individual member of a group and every is about all of them okay every all of them each one person from that group all right i hope this is clear dear children we have minutely talked about determiners if we if you go through each and everything that i have explained then they will not you will not have any questions in your mind so let me know if it is clear or not if you have any queries then do message till then we meet take care and study well thank you everyone